All right. In this video, what I want to take a look at is is the feet. Now, this is a clean. It's a, it's a light clean, but the foot position or what's happening in the feet should be the same, regardless of whether it's heavy or or light. So, uh, we're going to move this video forward a little bit to look at our start position. Okay. So the start position, you'll notice that the barbell. If you look straight down onto the barbell, which we don't have that angle here, but you can sort of figure out what I'm talking about. When you look straight down on the barbell, the barbell is going to be right over the the ball of the foot or the midfoot area. Okay, Most people think that they have to pull it all the way back in where it's touching the shins. Uh, that's actually incorrect. You want it to be out more uh, towards the ball of the foot. You'll notice there is a little bit of space in between my shin uh, and the barbell. Okay, So when I'm in this position, the majority of my weight is going to be towards the ball of my foot. And majority, I'm going to say like 60 to 70 percent. So my heels aren't up, you know, my feet are still flat, and I'm looking at a 60, 40, uh, 70, 30 weight distribution uh, from the from the uh, the forefoot or the ball of the foot to the heels. Okay, so that's going to be my start position as far as uh, weight distribution on the feet and where the barbell should go. Okay, as we bring the barbell up from some of my past videos you can look at the first pull video but the first pull is where I bring the barbell up to my knees and as I start to bring that barbell up towards the knees uh, my, my shins are going to go vertical and the barbell is going to start to sweep backwards towards my body okay so it starts towards the ball of the foot and the barbell is going to start to swing back towards my body or towards the hips and as that happens the weight distribution on the feet actually changes so you're going to see the weight shift back to the heel of the foot as I bring that barbell up to the knees we'll bring the the video forward here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about alright so I'm on the ball of the foot here as I come up you can see my shin angle is changing I'm going to a more vertical shin angle to the floor and as that happens you can see the feet the weight distribution change on the feet okay and you can actually see my toes come up off of the platform just a little bit right so I'm pretty much you know, I'm gonna have to say I'm close to 80 percent 90 percent heel of the foot right here um, as opposed to my start position where it was on the ball of the foot and really what that's representing is is how the barbell is traveling on the body right like I said we're, we're when our first pull the barbell is coming up and back so when I start you know with the barbell over the ball of my foot if we were to draw the line down now it would actually be more over the mid or back of the foot that's why the weight distribution changes in the feet okay so Again, we're going to start in this bottom position, weights more towards the front of the foot, and if we go real slow, you can see the weight change on my foot. See how the, the toes come up just a little bit, still flat-footed, but they come up just a little bit. All right, and now as I come up, you're going to see the weight change again. Okay, so now I'm getting into my mid-thigh area here, and now I'm going to start to shift back onto the ball of the feet to prepare for my jump. And you can see that happening right here, right? Now the the weight is more towards the ball of my foot and of course in my jump I'm coming up onto the toes okay so again that progression we start on the ball of the foot the weight shifts back to the heels as I come to the knees okay it stays towards the heel of the foot until I get to about my mid thigh area when it gets to the mid thigh that's when the, the weight shifts again back to the ball of the foot and I create my jump okay so I'm gonna play this thing at full speed here because uh, all that happens very very quickly and if those type of, of changes are happening in your feet there's a likely a very high likelihood that the barbell is traveling in a, in a path that you, you, you you'd be, we'd be looking for um, so again that barbell sort of sweeps in and back and then when you go into your jump it's gonna bump out a little bit but not by much okay so here's a full speed uh, of that video okay we'll do it again watch the feet Okay, and again we'll do it one more time here again watch the feet you can see how that that quick shift uh, the weight distribution changes alright there you go so get out and practice